So now let's look inside the house. This is like the MRI view. So there, now you can see how the light, this is the sunlight coming through in the, uh, in the winter time and how it's coming into this room here and coming into this room here. So looking at this house, this is, this is in, uh, that's in January. And so the light comes in and it, through that house and now this, this will actually show you, this is west in the summer. That, that tree actually, that's why it's dappled light, is stopping, blocking all of the light from coming in. So here you can see how over the course of that west afternoon, this tree is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing right there. And it makes a tremendous difference. Uh, side yard, courtyard. And that's another outdoor living space. And we wanted to do something in terms of the ground surface that's different than the rundle finds that we used in the back. So someone brought up the idea of doing the landscape pavers um, as a good uh, surface to do. And that's what we decided that we would put there. And landscape pavers are great. Um, they're a really good surface to do on ground that has been uh, excavated because they're a little bit more malleable. If you put a big concrete slab and pour a big concrete slab, the problem with that is, again, the water of the concrete slab is just going to be redirected to one of the adjacent areas. And the thing about the pavers is that there's space between the pavers and there's a sand base underneath them. So they can actually absorb uh, the rainwater. And depending on the scale of them, if you pick a paver that's really big, um, it's going to be less absorptive than if you pick a brick paver or something that's a little bit smaller. So we chose a paver that was around 12 by 12 in scale. And then we also used that as a stepping stone so that we could get to the side yard without having a concrete walkway. Because a concrete walkway in a side yard is going to repel the water because often the concrete walkways are the width of the side yard. So if you can do a paver in a sidewalk condition down your side yard, you're going to absorb your side, wa your side uh, water without deflecting it onto the neighbor or to the front and the back. So just to finish this off. The, uh, and you have to remember, this is, this is brand new. So it only is a couple months old. So it's going to take four or five years to establish. But that's the, uh, that's that front, the front walkway with our... Um, with the, and that's the rain garden right there. That's looking, you can see there's the pavers running through the pea gravel, and then that's that backyard or the side yard, side yard deck. Coming up to the front, that's the, uh, the wood deck. And you can see the, the, the various, um, the way in which we've altered the height. This is part of that rain garden, that step. To, to capture that extra little bit of overflow when it really, really rains in June. 